Hello everyone! In this lecture I'll present the last topic about requirements engineering. It is the requirements management. Requirements variations are inevitable because of the constant changes in the system, partners, the environment and many other things. For example, new hardware may be introduced that might be necessary for interface systems, business priorities may change, or new legislation and regulations may be introduced that the system must satisfy. Sometimes a client changes his mind in the middle of the development process or even after the product is released. By the way, user and clients that pay for a system usually are not the same people. Clients may impose some requirements because of organizational and budgetary constraints, while these requirements may conflict with end-user requirements. That's why, after delivery, new features may have to be added for user support. Large systems usually have a diverse user community and various users may have different requirements or priorities that might be conflicting or contradictory. The final system requirements are some sort of compromise between them. Actually, this is a common case in real life. I'll show a simple illustration of the requirements management evolution process. In the beginning, we have an initial understanding of the problem. Based on this part, we create an initial requirements. In the system development process, they may change our understanding of the problem. That's why we have to change or edit the initial requirements. In this way, requirements evolve together with software until using software is discontinued. Requirements management is the process of managing requirements changes during the requirements engineering process and system development. As I mentioned earlier, new requirements emerge in the development process or when the product or system is released. The tracking of individual requirements could help to identify the impact of requirements changes. Also, a formal process for including and linking these requirements changes should be established. These requirement changes are governed using requirements management. There are many different methods for requirement management. Some agile representatives claim that there is no need to manage requirements because there are so many changes that this process becomes meaningless. On the other hand, other people think that proper management may improve all major aspects of organizational strategy by reducing cost, improving quality, decreasing risks, and even decreasing time spent in developing system. So requirements management usually works like that. If we identify a problem or additional need from a client, the analysis and specification processes are initiated. Then the change analysis is performed and new pricing is prepared. The next step is to change requirements and implementation. Here we obtain the solution and new overviewed requirements are stored in some kind of requirements repository. Now, if a new problem appears again, the initial requirements are those that were previously changed. This way we always have the latest requirements and we can track the history of requirements change. To summarize, the purpose of requirement management is to keep track of individual requirements and maintain links between dependent requirements so that you can assess the impact of requirement changes. Thank you for watching and I hope you like this video. Bye.